Hello, beautiful flower friends. And today I have, I think, a really cool one because you probably have seen these flowers a lot and everywhere. Today we are going to be taking these fresh tulips and turning them into these pressed tulips. So let's get started. Because it was so hot in my house, my tulip petals started to curl. But if your house is cooler and your tulips are looking a lot better than mine, you can enjoy them a little longer fresh. But since mine are already curling and they're not coming back from that, I'm going to press these right now. The way I like to press these tulips is, you guessed it, petal by petal. After all the petals are laid out, you're going to have your stem and the reproductive parts of the flower left over. You can press this as is, or you can chop off the reproductive parts and press that separately and have the stem separately. But what I also have been doing lately is chopping the stem in half. This makes it much thinner for my final piece, and it also helps it press more quickly. And don't forget, if you want to press the tulip leaves too, just include them into your press as well. Once everything is completely dried, it's time to reconstruct the tulips. There are two ways that I reconstruct my tulips. One is to look like a reflexed fresh tulip. And for that, I found between six and seven petals work best. And then to reconstruct the tulip in the way that you normally would see it, I just use three petals and you can use petals that are in a similar shape and size, or if you want to really mix it up, you can experiment with it and see which looks best to you. And this is the final product. I recently bought this handmade cotton deckled paper from Etsy and it is gorgeous so I thought it would be perfect to mount my flowers on and I'm gonna be gluing it with a glue stick and Mod Podge.
think the textures and also the color of this paper is perfect for my tulip. So I framed it and I think it looks beautiful. Let me know what you think. If you would like to see some more detailed shots or even if you're interested in purchasing this frame, I will link it for you in the description box. Until next time, take care, happy pressing, bye.